PlayStation 5 Pro, here are my thoughts. Logical Gamers. So Sony just announced the PlayStation 5 Pro and I've got to say, it's a beast of a system. The system comes with an upgraded GPU, producing 67% more compute units than the current PS5, with 28% faster memory, allowing for up to 45% faster rendering. They've also added advanced ray tracing for enhanced lighting and are also introducing PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution or PSSR for short for better image clarity. Now what I was absolutely blown away by, during the announcement Mark Cerny, the lead architect of PS5, stated that the PS5 Pro should remove the decision of having to choose between fidelity and performance mode, merging both experiences for the player. This means that now, players will be able to experience the best of the best image quality without relinquishing the frame rate. Now this is a huge deal because personally, I am a performance guy, the functionality of the game takes precedent over the aesthetics, but if I were to acquire the PS5 Pro, I can have the best of both worlds, which is cool. And as for the remaining stuff the console comes with, you get two terabyte storage, which is nice, it's usual peripherals, and Astro's Playroom pre-installed. Now all this sounds enticing, but I'd have to stick with my base PS5 model, and here's why. The system is priced at 699 US dollars, and it doesn't even come with a disk drive. Sony states that you can buy the detachable disk drive that the Slim utilizes, but who wants to spend more money after spending 699, approximately 700 and change after taxes for this console? Also, instead of pre-installing the recently released Astrobot, which is a good game by the way, currently streaming it on my Twitch, you're giving us the old game, Astro's Playland. Now, in my humblest opinion, for those of you who don't have one and are interested in acquiring a PS5, then maybe waiting for the PS5 Pro might be the one you get. However, if you already have one or you don't have the financial means to get the big bad PS5 Pro, then keeping or getting the base model might be a better option. We all know that once this console releases, all its predecessors will go down in price. So with that being said, this concludes my thoughts on the recently announced PS5 Pro. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. Also, as mentioned earlier, I'm currently streaming Astrobot on Twitch. So follow me on there and get notified when I'm on to come chill with your boy. The link will be provided in the description down below. So anyways, this is your boy Esoteric signing off. And as always, if it ain't gaming, it ain't logical. Peace.